Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Jesus Wants You. I'm the Watchman on the Wall, Nikki Pratt. Listen, I did this video um, warning people probably about a year ago. I forgot to go back and look when I put the video out, but it's okay because I'm going to um, attach the video of what I'm speaking of um, to this. The title of this video is Fulfilled. It was revealed about the gender reveal parties. It was revealed about the gender reveal parties. Listen, as watchmen on the wall, sometimes the Lord will lead us to things that is dark and uh, to warn people especially of things that you think is innocent that may harm you, okay? We have to be wise as serpents and gentle as doves. So the Bible says in Daniel 2, 22, he revealeth the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness and the light dwell it with him now in this gender reveal video i did i um told about prophetically what i saw happening what the enemy has used against the people out of our mouths come blessings and cursings, okay? Gender reveal party, you know, it's a, it, it, it has become this big fad. Everybody is doing it, you know, blue here, pink there. But what was, re, what the Lord revealed to me at that time was what people was innocently speaking speaking over their unborn child before it was even born. Well, how so, Nikki? Please explain by saying these words. Um, is it a girl or is it a boy? Is it a girl or is it a boy? What do you have? Oh, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. We don't want to know what it is. We, we don't want to know what it is, whether it's a girl or it's a boy. What are you really saying? Is somebody following me? Have you caught on? You speaking things over your child, meaning an it, meaning you can't tell whether it's a girl or it's a boy. Now do we get it? Now are we following me? That was revealed to me. And when I got that revelation, I was like, oh my God, I went to my car and did that video. The video will be uploaded. But this right here, you guys, is powerful. What I'm fixing to reveal to you right now, because the woman herself, that created this gender reveal is thinking twice. Watch this. And I want to thank my uh, subscriber, Yvette Buckhalter. Buck, Buckhalter. Sorry. So sorry for jacking up your name. Um, my throat is dry. But um, Yvette Buckhalter. Sorry. Um, she sent me this story. And she said, Nikki, I thought of you when I read this. I remember you did a video about this warning about this very thing. Check this out. And I um, saw that and I was like, oh my God. The story says she invented the gender reveal party. She has some regrets. Um, her name is uh, Jenna... Or maybe this child's name, Jenna, yeah, Corvanitis, Corvanitis, 
something like that. Welcome with the pink frosted cake is now 10 and prefers to wear suits. Could it be that she spoke that thing over her child? Yes, she did. Ain't no could it be. Out of our mouths come blessings and curses. In the beginning of Genesis, when the Lord said, Adam, name these animals, whatever he named it, that it was. It is power in that tongue. It says the gender reveal party likely has more than one inventor. But one of the first documented examples belonging to Los Angeles, Los Angeles blogger Jenna Carvinitis, the year was 2008. The cake was shaped like a rubber duck. Um, she was expecting her first child, sliced it open, revealing pink frosting between white layers. It was a girl. Over the ensuing decade, a Pinterest and YouTube fueled arms race produced cakes that vomit pink or blue. M&M's black balloons burst to reveal pink or blue confetti, color blasters that detonate a cloud of pink or blue smoke. Today, expected parents send sealed lab results to bakeries and gender reveal fails or fodder for TikTok. An Arizona Border Patrol agent is paying $8 million in restitution for the 47,000 square foot wildfire caused by his gender reveal color blast. Also, the child, Corvinitis, I'm sure I'm pronouncing it, Corvinitis, whatever. Let's call it a KK, okay? With pink frosted cake, is 10 years old and prefers to wear suits. Say it ain't so. It says, plot twist. Kay wrote on Facebook on July 25th, the world's first gender reveal party baby is a girl who wears suits. Carbonitis told Ellie that she has mixed feelings about the phenomenon gender reveal parties have become. As gender reveals grew in popularity, many called them an early form of the gender policing that shapes our lives every day from expectations about how we present at school and work to the bathrooms and locker rooms that have become ground zero for the ongoing war against gender people, transgender people. Cakes and color blasts slap a label on us in big pink or blue font before we're even born. See you doing this before the child is even born. Don't, didn't the Lord said, behold, I, before you was in your mother's womb, I knew you. Come on. Before your baby, you already speaking. Is it a boy? Is it a girl? You speaking mixed over the baby. Gender reveal. And you it basically calling it a it. It basically is it a boy or a girl? And you can't tell. You that's all you kept speaking over your child. Let me show you why let me show you this child, this 10 year old in the middle. Look at her. She dressed like a boy, hair cut like a boy. There's three girls. The one in the middle with the blue suit looks like a what? You can't tell whether it's a what? Come on, say it. Is it a girl? Is it a boy? Come on, somebody, come on. We got to give the Lord glory. This was revealed. People, we have to stop following the crowd. We have to stop. You know, it's a lot of people want to do what they see everybody else do. If you, you want to follow after anybody, follow after Jesus the Christ. Meaning follow after things that make sense. It may make sense to you. And I'm not knocking nobody, but when you know better, you do better. When you know better, you do better. Don't do this because you're speaking an unknown entity over your child. A curse over your child. That poor child 
is mixed in the head. She is a girl, but she dressed like a what? A boy. Let's cut this cake and see what it's going to reveal. That's exactly what Satan wanted. She says she did, she did the gender reveal party at the time because we didn't live in 2019 and didn't know what we know now. That a sign and focus on gender at birth leaves out so much of their potential and talents that have nothing to do with what's between their legs, she wrote in a Facebook post, with which went viral. The post included a recent family photo in which her oldest child sports short hair and a sharp gray blazer. Well, it looked pastel blue to me. Um, I don't know what y'all think. So this was a question that the interviewer asked her. What inspired you to do the gender reveal party to begin with? She says, the reason I had a gender party was that I had several miscarriages. The third time was a charm. Finally, I had a baby that stuck long enough to know anything about her. And the first thing we learned is the gender of the baby. The party was more celebrating the milestones of her coming birth more than trying to saddle any identity onto the child. You can plan it all you want to, but when you're speaking these things out of your mouth, that's what you're doing. Innocently, but now we have this. She said, I had to explain to everyone what we were doing. Why are we coming to a house, uh, to your house for barbecue, they asked. Okay. Lisa asks, when did you realize the gender reveal party idea was catching on? She says she had no idea that the people was picking up on it, but she wrote about the gender reveal party on blogs and uh, it was influencing parents and that uh, the post got picked up by something called the bump. Then I started seeing other people do gender reveals later that summer. That fall into the next year, I started seeing a little trickles and then it reached a tipping point and now everyone does it. See what I'm saying? What do you think the parties become such a, why do you think the parties come such a big deal? Because that is what Satan wanted. That was his plan. See, if he could get you to speak it over your own child, children, now you got a little Sodom and Gomorrah's walking around that you done already spoke over your own children. I don't know what it is. Mm -mm. Yeah, I know what it is. I know what she is. She's a girl. I know what he is. Yes, I know what I'm having. It's a boy. If you don't want to tell nobody what you have, don't say nothing. But don't say, I don't know what it is. I can't tell. That's exactly what you're going to get. Okay? Do you think people have taken the idea too far? I can answer that. Yes. Y'all, she is regretting it. I'm going to put this story um, under the uh, video. I want to read this, these two questions though, that they asked her. What changed your mind about gender reveals? She says her daughter. It started almost immediately after she was born. Did you hear that? I made a blue and yellow nursery, not a pink one. You know, your child from the moment they are born. For her first birthday, I put a black suit coat on her. You know what your kid is gravitating towards and I knew the whole pink thing wasn't in the cards. That's because you spoke it over. What do a child know what they need or want after they born? Hmm. You can say what you want, but I know better. She says, I definitely take my daughter's lead. She was born a bio female. Because that's what you spoke over her. She's still a girl. But at the same time, I just take her lead. And she likes what she likes. And she's just a kid. 
I don't know what her future holds. I accept her and love her. She's awesome no matter what. And that's exactly what Satan wants you to do. I love my child no matter, matter what. I brought confusion in the world. I, 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 bought, I even spoke confusion over her. Stop it, y'all. If you're going to spread a video, spread this video. If you still do a gender reveal party after this video, I don't know what to say, but I'll keep it to myself. This says, um, what do you think people should do in place of gender reveal parties? I don't want to shame anybody. I think parents get enough flack for every move they make. People want to have their parties and I don't want to pick people apart for that. She says, heck, I'm the one who did it in the first place. Well, own it. Tell the people. You, you, the headline saying she regretted. Then tell people to stop doing it. Look at the results. The very first child that she brought out gender reveal about comes out revealed a girl with cut off hair like a boy in a suit. Reveal the truth. Have a party. Have the baby shower. All pink punch. All pink everything. Don't follow this in crowd because this is what Satan wants. For you to speak confusion over your child. And again, you have little Sodom and Gomorrahs walking around. Can't tell whether it's a boy or a girl. Mm. It Take heed, body of Christ, and anyone listening. Take heed. Don't do this. Don't do this. Look, I'm not knocking you. I'm just here to reveal the truth. That's my job. This is what I saw at the gates. I came back and told it. Now I'm telling you again that the owner herself says she regrets it. You see that? Read the headline. She regret it. Look at the cake. Pink and blue. You got what what that mean? You got to figure it out. Whether it's a boy or a girl. And they coming out looking like is it a boy or a girl? Or thinking, am I a boy or a girl? I'm a girl, but yet I'm dressing like a boy. And there it goes. Share this video. I love you guys. Thanks.